Hey, so I guess uh, the Philadelphia won the football game last night because the people were so happy to destroy in their own city. I couldn't believe what they were doing. Throwing rocks through convenience stores, setting stuff on fire, flipping over cars. I think that would be a person that's pissed off. No, these guys are happy. God forbid they lost. Probably be homicides. Uh, that's it. Strikes me strange. Maybe why? Because they first time they ever won a Super Bowl. Oh, that's a good reason to destroy your own city. I could tell you a, a similar story. When I was a kid, I went to work for my uncle Anthony in Newark, New Jersey, and uh, that's the year the riots took place. Now these people destroyed where they lived. Uh, because I think a cop shot a kid or something like that. Go shoot the cop. Don't don't burn down your own house. I think there's still parts of Newark that look like that. <clears throat> but anyway, <clears throat> so the uh, the doctors are going to go in and see try to correct this uh, urine leak. But besides that, the football game, um, I, I guess, was amazing. It was amazing to me that the little bit I saw on Fox News this morning... All of the players were standing up during the, uh, when Pink, what is her name? Lady Gaga? Whoever sang the, what did they sing, Star Spangled Banner? They all stood up at least, at least they weren't kneeling down. And, uh, and that's about as much as I watched. I think I watched uh, none of it because I went to the hospital and I was with my wife and yeah, we wanted to come home, especially Madison. You know who Madison is. My cat. She talks to her on the phone. <laughs> it's the funniest thing to put the phone near her. Madison's looking at her. She's like, where is mommy? How could she fit inside that little box? But uh, they're adorable. And uh, something else came up about five more memos that... The Republicans have that they want to release, but the Democrats don't want to release them for some reason. I didn't get the whole gist of it, but I can imagine it's going to make them look like morons and liars, and they try to um, they try to make sure Donald Trump didn't get to be president. They come up with another line of crap that they were talking about, but. I mean, the one, <clears throat> the one memo that came out, they don't like that. The, they had to alter it to make it um, so Donald Trump could understand it. Like the guy's a uh, fourth grade dropout with a no IQ. I, uh, you know, I've been too busy. Uh concerned about my wife and then I have all of these insurance companies calling me now they're not calling me sending me letters they want to fix it they want to get rid of this real quick so you please give me a call no what do I do I give them I email them and text tell them to uh, contact my attorney that was the first one from Geico who was representing the dirt bag that uh, crashed into a bread truck goes to leave the scene of the accident, crashes into another vehicle, nice pretty pickup truck too, which made it so he careened. I was on a bridge. There was no place I can go, right into my front, which pushed me back off the bridge and into the bushes. Now, he's got a public pretender. How do you get a public defender? I thought you had to be in jail. I mean, I wouldn't put my life in the hands of a public defender unless I really knew I was guilty or I was, like, so broke. But I got a letter from Yugunda Babuba who uh, was representing Ezekiel John Batiste who owned the vehicle and lent it to his brother who crashed into us because he thought he was one of the Fast and the Furious. And... Uh, Obviously, <clears throat> I don't know. Obviously, I shouldn't say obviously. The man's got a public defender, and uh, they contacted me. I told them the same thing. Contact uh, uh, Dewey Cheatham and Howe, my attorneys who are representing me. 
And, uh, <clears throat> and, and this is a funny thing that happened. It's not funny that one person died. But last year, a man was traveling at 88 miles an hour, crashed into the back of somebody, killed the guy in the car, and whatever happened, he had got away. That He wasn't arrested. He didn't leave the scene of the accident, but he got away. He was just arrested last week. This happened last July because the toxicology reports finally came in. Now I'm going, hmm, what, what makes me really curious is, is this, if this guy had went into the hospital, the one who caused the accident, they won't arrest you until you get out of the hospital because they arrest you while you're in the hospital. Then the bill goes to the county. So I think that might have happened. But they, you know, they took all this time to go and arrest the guy. Uh, and he's got a $400,000 bail. And he's one of these guys that got like broccoli growing out of his head, you know, he really cool, man, cool. But anyway, back to uh, Nancy. She's going in any any minute now to uh, put the finger in the dike, to stop the pee-pee from coming out. And uh, it'll probably, I mean, it'll be fixed. I just can't, I can't fathom the idea of, well, if we can't fix it, we just tear out that one kidney. Yeah, that's a good idea. There's got to be some solution to. I always hear about putting pig intestines, and you know. But um, I'm praying for my wife. It's so nice to go there and see her. And she's Nancy again. Uh, after I find out what happens, you guys will find out. Bye.